It was a stylish congregation. You can see they've been around. And they had the biggest pipe organ of any church in town. But over in the amen corner of that church sat Brother Iyer. And he insisted every Sunday on singing in the choir. His voice was cracked and broken. Age had touched his vocal cords. And nearly every Sunday he'd get behind and miss the words. Well, the choir got so flustered, the church was told and fine that Brother Iyer must stop his singing or the choir was going to resign. So the pastor appointed a committee. I think it was three or four. And they got in their big fine car and drove up to Iyer's door. They found the choir's great trouble sitting there in an old armchair. And the summer's golden sunbeams lay upon his snow white hair. Said York, uh, we're here, dear brother, with the vestry's approbation to discuss a little matter that affects the congregation. Now, we don't want no singing except what we've bought. The newest tunes are all the rage, the old ones stand for naught. And so we have decided, are you listening, Brother Iyer? You'll have to stop your singing, it's messing up our choir. The old man raised his head, a sign that he did hear. And on his cheek, the three men caught the glitter of a tear. His feeble hands pushed back the locks as white as silky snow. And he answered the committee in a voice both soft and low. I've sung the Psalms of David nearly 80 years, said he. They've been my staff and comfort all along life's really way. Sorry I disturbed the choir. I guess I'm doing wrong. But when my heart is filled with praise, I can't keep back a song. I wonder if beyond the tide that's breaking at my feet, in that far off heavenly temple where my master I shall meet, yes, I wonder if when I try to sing the songs of God up higher, I wonder if they'll kick me out up there for singing in heaven's choir. A silence filled the little room. The old man bowed his head. The committee went on back to town, but Brother Iyer was dead. The choir missed him for a while, but he was soon forgot. A few church goers watched the door, but the old man entered not. Far away his voice is sweet, and he sings his heart's desire where there are no church committees and no fashionable choirs. Let me hide myself 